Ladies and gentlemen, there's some games that I just see on Steam and I go, really? We we managed to make this work. <laughs> huh? Okay, uh, sure, I'll play you. Absolutely. This is calculated. This is a calculator roguelike. Uh, what does that mean? I'm gonna be honest with you. I, I got no clue, okay? I saw a, a calculator roguelike and then I bought it. Uh, I, did, I straight up did not look at any of the other details on the page. So we're going to play it and we're going to see what a calculator roguelike is. This has very positive reviews on Steam. It released uh, July 5th of this year, so it's still pretty, still pretty new. Um, go check it out. Link in the description down below. Let's play. I can choose my calculator. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna choose a normal calculator for right now. Uh, there is a, a steel calculator. There's an engineering calculator. There's an old calculator. Uh, I'm going I'm going to choose the normal calculator, and we're going to play. So choose my difficulty. Wow. Okay. Interesting. Um, four different difficulty options. Another five not available for probably this calculator is my bet. Standard difficulty calculate require numbers win 20 rounds. Okay, you get less money per round you win. Number required is, is generated from zero to 125. Okay, um, random button removed after a boss fight. All of these sound fun. I'm gonna start with one. We'll see how long the runs are. I might do uh, another. And we go. Okay, so we, we have to get to 98. Okay. Um, Interesting. So, I mean, we have to get to 98. How can you get to 98? You can add 31. <laughs> that feels that feels like the easiest approach that that I can take here. Um, ah, but each of my buttons has has uses on it, which is interesting. So, I mean, sure, let's let's do this. I pressed uh, a plus. We're going to add 31 uh, to this. And then I'm going to hit enter, and that gives us 98. That seems good to me. Uh, I have gained some coins, and now we have a shop. Oh, how very interesting. Okay. So, raise a number to the power of two. Okay. I mean, I, I can see this being really valuable, to be honest. Um, but what, what would you... What would you put this on? <laughs> I feel like I don't I don't have a, a good a good thought there yet. Part of me wants to just skip and move on to the next round, save my money, uh, because I I feel like generates need a number from last round. Interesting, that's cool too. So it it would be I would get 98 again. Would I just is, is, am I at 98 to start? There's a lot of question marks, okay? I'm gonna next round because I don't know what all else is going to happen here. So, required number is 15. We're at 94. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, let's think about this logically. I can subtract 4 to get to 90 and then divide by 6. So minus four divided by six is going to be four plays here. We can also just subtract a, a certain number. What is that number? So so 94 minus what equals 15? Look, I'm gonna pull out <laughs> I'm gonna pull out a regular calculator. This is not this is not me saying I can't subtract 94 minus 15 in my head. Uh, it's 79. Did I pull out the calculator to do that? Yeah. Um, I'm very smart at math, uh, and I'm a very intelligent person. Anyway, uh, sure, I think that I will just subtract 79. There, there's going to be multiple plays to, to get to where you need to go, because it's numbers, bro. But I think that realistically, we, we do what requires the least number of turns and buttons right and we go from there so what are you adds 10 if you need more than 10 points to victory and remaining if not <laughs> and remaining okay i don't know what and remaining means converts all ones in number to fives it's actually like kind of sick but i think this is cool oh they just add to here i thought i was gonna have to replace them man 
Okay, give me a, a subtract back. I think that convert all numbers from one to from that are ones to fives is, is pretty sick. This zero is expensive, and I don't think it needs to be. Give me the nine, and then I'm going to move to next round. And I'm gonna I'm gonna hold on to my money for the foreseeable future. So uh, I need 35. I'm at one. This is a dangerous one. Okay. Um, so this converts all ones in number two fives. Here's where I have the question of what number? Is that this number? Yes. Okay, it's that number. So then that's fine. I'm just going to do times seven and we're, we're going to move on with this. But now I have no sevens, which, which definitely has a bit of a an interesting situation for me a bomb destroys selected button and charge random button or creates random button <laughs> okay okay sure um raises a number to the power of two i think this can be really strong for us so i'm, I'm gonna get that functionality in here uh a three i would like to have back adds a use to a random button yeah, so I got, I got four of those down there. I would love to have a fifth, I think. And then let's give myself a multiply back. Uh, and then I'm going to continue to save some money. We don't get interest <laughs> or anything. Um, so it's a little little irrelevant, I guess. Um, but I think that it's, it's fine. I think that it's fine. Adds 10 if you need more than 10 points to victory. And remain if not. <laughs> okay. Um, so I could get up to 12 by, by pressing that, uh, which I don't think is, is too valuable. 89, man, 89 is a, a, a wonky number for this. So 89 is divisible, is it divisible by 13? No, 89 divisible by, it would have to be like, is not divisible by 11. It's not divisible by like anything, bro. 89 is is fairly prime. <laughs> it might even be prime. Is it prime? I don't think it's prime. Are you prime? You might be prime, bro. I'm just plugging in some some numbers on the calculator. Um, it very well could be a prime number. No, it is not. Uh, 20, 20. No, 23 is no, 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 no. You might be prime. 89 might be prime. Okay, it's beside the point. Let's let's be intelligent here. Um, I could multiply by nine and get an eighteen. Okay, uh, eighteen. I can then. I would love to get to nine, like a nine in the ones position. Although that's not really that's not really needed, to be fair. Um, I'm thinking about squaring a number, right? So so 89. You you could think about like, you know, nine times nine is 81. So if we can get up to nine, but I can't go to seven, that that's pretty fair. Um, okay, I got a I got a funky solution here. So. Divide by one. No, that's not gonna be, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to divide by two, brother. Divide by 12, oh, what are we doing? That puts us to zero, okay. And then I'll just add 89. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not proud of that solution, okay. All things considered, it wasn't that bad of a solution, but I'm not proud of it. Cuts first digit of needed number. That's so strong, man. I mean, I'll take... I can't take both of those? Okay. Um, that's so strong. You, It's a requirement. And then give me back a two. Give me a four. Here, I'm going to reroll. Um, give me another plus. Append four to the current number. It's wonky. It's wonky, and I like it. That looks like it's gonna be glass, in which it probably only has one use. Reverse the current number also could be valuable. There's there's a lot of good juice uh, that we're, we're getting here. Oh, boss battle, I can't use three and multiply. Okay, so I gotta get to 19. 74 divided by four. 
Boy, what is that looking like? 74 divided by 4 is 18.5. It's pretty good. Um, what does that give me? That gives me 18. Okay. And then I will... I can't add one, brother. I can't add one. Give me, give me a one back. Ah, you little freak show. Okay. So how... What, what is the best way for me to get to... Best way for me to get to to 19 from 18 when I need to add one to it. I can add. I could. Add, I can't use three and multiply. Okay, I could add five, subtract four, <laughs> or I could add six and then subtract five. Okay, add six. Okay, that gives me 24, and then subtract 5. It took me three turns, it's not, it's not amazing, okay, it's not amazing, um, but it got the job done, so I think I'm fine with that. Find the closest prime number to the current one. Oh my lordy, man. They're, they're, they're digging deep, they're digging deep. I want all these, convert all nines in a number to ones. Give me a multiply. Convert all nines to ones. Could be valuable. There's there's a lot going on here, man. We're only on round six of 20. Okay, I need a five. We're at 36. And I have no ones and I have no sevens. You're cruel. <laughs> you're, you're so cruel. Cuts the first digit. Okay. Cuts first number of needed digits. So this would go to zero? Is that accurate? That might be accurate. Um, convert all one. I mean, I, I want to know, to be honest. No, it does nothing. Okay. Um, only if it can. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, pretty fair. Um, and remain if not. Okay, um, let's see here. I mean, I, I think that you, you can't subtract 31 because you don't have a one. You, you could. What, what would be, what would be 36? <laughs> okay, okay, hear me out, hear me out. 36 times... 5 is 180 and then 180 divided by 30 wait a minute yeah that's just that's just stupid that's just stupid is it stupid no wait a minute i think this is smart so we multiply we multiply by 5 to get 180 and then we divide 180 by 36 to get five and it's two turns i used like five buttons or something like that i think that that's not that bad at all to be honest give me these give me this back generates need a number from last round which is five right now I think that that could be extremely valuable right now. Converts zeros to eights. Give me a random use. And then just send it. Give me a four. Okay. I need to get to 99. I think that this is a, a very logical plus 49. Oh, I'm at 99. This is a very logical minus 49. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't mind this. I don't mind this. That's three button presses to get the answer. Um, we don't need to overthink that. Some of these, you, you just you just send it immediately. Eight and six. I take a six. I take a plus. I take a multiply. Converts current number to 25. Could be very strong. Okay, could be very strong. I think I'm going to save a little bit of money. 45, I got to get to 62. Gross. Okay, gross. Um, 
reverse my current number would put me at 54 and then I add a easy money I take those <laughs> Dude, it's, it's a fascinating little puzzle. I mean, there, there's definitely going to be a correct answer. I could sit all day, you know, we can make a, a 70 minute video of me analyzing every possible solution, or you can just send it, okay? Um, ones and nines, you're so nice to me. That's lovely. When pressed, it is used as one number, but then it changes to different number. Interesting, okay. Do I get to see what that number is? If, yeah, okay, so it's a one right now. That's sick. I mean, this is an amazing, amazing thing. I don't need to reroll my number. So I'm at 97. I got to get to 59. Okay, 97 is, is ugly. I'm just going to tell you that now. Append a four to the current number. Okay, hear me out. Hear, hear me out. I don't think that this is possible. So 974. Does the four go in the front or in the back? That's a good question. 974 divided by 59. It's like 16.5. That's not going to be too helpful. Um. Okay. 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 What was our last number? 62. Dude, a plus three is is the correct answer here, or minus three is the correct answer. T take the easy win. Utilize your your uh, tiles that you have available. Generates the the last the needed number from last round. I still think that that's really nice to have. Uh, I also think that these are vital. I also think that like you should buy every number available because um, you're just going to cry if not. So give me these. I need to calculate a large number. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Six hundred and ninety-seven is what I need. Do the quick scan. 697 divided by 93 is like 7-ish. So we could go 93. I can't go 93 times 7. Let's go 93 times 8. That puts us at 744. And then 744 minus 697 is 47. I can't do that because of the 7. Okay. So... Here's where we can get interesting. We could go 93 squared, which is terrifying. Um, that's now 8,649. Divided by 697 is 12-ish. I don't have any divisions. Okay, I gotta, I gotta rethink that then. I gotta rethink that. Convert all nines and a number to ones. So I could bring this to 13, which does not help me. Or I can just generate the last number in the round, which is 59, and then I would subtract 44, right? It 59. Oh, no, wait a minute, wait a minute. That generates a number here. Okay, um, let's, let's think about this from a different perspective. So, so 697, are, what are you divisible by, right? 697 is divisible by, it would have to be an odd number. Okay, so 697 divided by, let's try 7. No, 697 divided by 11. This is where, like, knowing, I took a class that had a lot of uh, tricks for factoring numbers in it. It was a cryptography class. Most of cryptography is, is basically based around... Uh, doing factoring of numbers for for some of the the formulas i could go into deeper conversations on this but it's not needed um 697 divided by 17 is 41 okay so what does that mean for me it means that i can go 93 Minus 41 is 52, so we can subtract 52 and then multiply by 17. I can't multiply by 17. Damn it. <laughs> that's that's bad. That's not good. Um, okay, okay. Yeah, that gets annoying. Um... Can't multiply by by 
by 17, but I could multiply by 41 if I can get this number to 17. Okay, so convert all nines in my number to ones. Then I'm going to add four, and then I'm going to multiply by 41. Yeah? Dude, I think that I'm extremely pleased with that. I, I really do. I think that that went very fine for me. So buy these. I don't need the multiplier on this one. Um, and I already have two, two prime boys. I think an addition is good. Add one to the current number. Wait a minute. This is not at a... F where, where was that? This is not a... Well, no, it says append. <laughs> okay. This is add one. This is append. So I think that it, you just put a four at the end of it, if I understand the pending. Add one to current number could be a very valuable, valuable play for me. Um, so let's, let's take it. We're getting kind of, kind of sketchy. Oh, I need a four? God, that's easy. Um, just kidding. No, it isn't. Because, just kidding. Yes, it is. Because I'll just reverse my current number. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. That's so good. Okay, a perfect use of that. Yeah, a very, very good use of that. Give me a three and an eight. I would, like, really friggin' love to get a, a divide again at some point. Destroying a random button seems terrifying to me. Uh, it, it really does. So, re-roll me. A seven is so nice to have back. Swaps the current number with the required one. I can see that being useful, <laughs> I guess. Uh, let's let's see, let's see. I need to get to two. And I'm at 97, okay. 97 friggin' sucks, man. So we could go, we could go back to 17, okay. Or, I mean, we can add one that puts us at 98. I can't divide. <laughs> I hate you. I hate you. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to generate a four. And then I'm going to minus two. And and that's... I'm going to really struggle to find something better than that. I, I think that that's pretty nice. I think that's very nice. Um, a one is vital. Calculate the square root of the current number. Okay. <laughs> okay, sure. I, that seems so expensive for something that I'm probably never going to use. Uh, so yeah, I'll take it. That's fine. And then continue me on. 99 to 3. Okay, divide by 33. Don't have a division. Square root of 99. Or I convert this to an 11 and then subtract 8. I think, again, it's it's what this button is here for. <laughs> I have to utilize that if I'm going to, to make it work. We're only at 13, my guy. I'm terrified. I'm absolutely terrified. Cuts first digit of needed number. Add number of money to number. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Um, I don't need threes, I don't need sixes, I don't need zeros. Like this is kind of unfortunate. I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab another cut. Okay, um, and frankly, I think that this is good because now, like, we have a another another fish to fry here. So, 73 from 51. It's a tough one because you would want to add 22, but you can't, okay? So, instead, I could convert this to 55 which I, I think is reasonable. Um, or I can like add, I could add one. I could use my, my incrementer that goes to 52 and then I add 21 instead, which is totally reasonable. Um, kind of fine. This would go to 53 and then we add 20. Um, this, this is actually now kind of interesting. So we, we could go to 63 and then add 10. So we, we could go to nearest prime at 53 
add 10, and then add 10. But that, again, that doesn't actually, that doesn't seem great. That doesn't seem great to me. Um, the other option, okay, yeah. So, so, chop off the first digit. This becomes a three, and then I'll generate last. And I use no numbers and, and get it. That feels, that feels like the correct answer. <laughs> if there is a correct answer, it feels like a correct answer. When pressed, it is used as one number, but then it changes to different. So that's the same as this, uh, but not a one-time use, which I do think is valuable. Converts current number to 25. Oh. When pressed, it is used as one number, but then it changes to different. Can I just not take it? <laughs> okay. Uh, peculiar? Very peculiar. Give me an eight. Reroll me. Bro, you, you just keep giving me the wrong stuff. I'm not gonna lie. I, I really want to reroll again. I need some other digits in here. Like, threes and fives are not, they're not doing it, man. Oh, freaking modulo? Okay. Calculate the remainder. <laughs> I mean, I'll do it. I'll do it. We'll see if we can do some modulo nonsense in here. Keep me going. I can't use nines and four up. So that's this guy. Uh, this is the easiest one of my life. I'll just subtract six. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, ones are the most valuable tool ever, so, so give me. Append a five to the beginning of the number. Generate the last number is, is so good. I can't afford any of this. I, I think that I've, uh, like, capped out my, my calculator at this point. I respect it, to be honest with you. I respect it. Um, give me a two. And give me a cut, because those are, those are pretty good for me. 93, I need to get to 58. 93, ugly ass number, bro. Ugly number. So, so 93. Let's go 93 minus 58 is 35. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's like completely fine. Just just give me the minus 35 and I, I think I'm I'm pretty happy with that. We're we're close, man. We're definitely close to getting a win here. Give me a subtract. Prime numbers, eventually that's gonna be useful, I swear. Convert all three. No no no. Generate a last number. Continue me on. 41. Closest prime is 41. Feels bad. Um this I'm gonna tell you it's plus 30 and you don't look back. Right? I mean, you can go 49, but dude, I, I, I think that I think you're you're just happy with plus 30. I think there's there's no reason not to go plus 30. That's that's such a, a simple, elegant solution. You you don't mess with with elegance. We we take that. Now, give me these. That's fine. Uh, we take another addition. Generates a random number in the range 0 to 100. <laughs> I, w I, I wanted it so bad, man, but I, I can't afford it. I can't afford it. Give me a 2, give me a 7. Uh, give me a minus. I'm fine with that. Am I fine with that? Yeah, I'm fine with that. I have no money. For once in my life, I got no money in this game. Um, scary, but what are you going to do? Let's actually, let's do something intelligent here. I'm gonna use this one to break it and open us up a, a slot so I can potentially buy something more beneficial to me. Um, I'm actually stacked on numbers right now, so I'm, I'm not too concerned. I already have some swaps. Append a seven to the current number. Maybe. I'm not gonna sit here and say no, uh, but I think you you won't let me. Are you unique? And thus I can only have one of you. Is that the the vibe there? Potentially. Okay, sure. Append a seven to the number. So this 
this this would append a seven to it, which would be three hundred and forty-seven. Okay, so three hundred and forty-seven. I still can't divide, by the way. Um, but if three forty-seven. This is, this is where I guarantee there's some kind of whack job. 347 modulo, a number, gives me 96, which... Oh, it's probably not, to be honest with you, now that I think about it. It's like close to no shot. Uh, we can go up to 52, then you add 42. It's not horrible. Um, we can add 62. Also effectively the same. Is there a better solution here? Convert to 25. Uh, convert to 25 times four minus two is still using too many. Um, I can swap to 96, but that does not really help me at all. Um, can add 18, doesn't really help me at all. Adding 18 would put me at 52, so I would add 44, which is worse than anything else. So unfortunately, I think that your best option is add 62. Um, we find ourselves in a little bit of a scary position because I'm out of addition. But I'm also on round 19 of 20, so I, I think I'm probably going to be fine, right? Me, me thinks I'd be fine. Convert 7s. I, I can't buy those because they're... Uh, they're I'm in too deep, and I'm trying to keep up above in my head. Okay, um, three and eights. Sure, I take the three. I take a plus. That's a, a huge one. Reverse the current number, also massive. Uh, a subtract I don't need, a seven I don't need, a five I don't need. I think I just move to next round. I can't use button seven and seven up. That's fine. I'll divide by 11. I can't divide by 11. <laughs> God damn it, brother. Okay, um, this adds to that. I mean, look, we can subtract 20. <laughs> we can subtract 20 and we just win, but is that fun? Not really. So I am going to convert to 25, take the square root of it, and then take the square root of it. <laughs> And that's going to be my solution. And that way I feel good about using some of the buttons <laughs> that I had during this. I've won, uh, which is very exciting. I could enter endless mode, which I'm assuming just allows you to keep playing. Uh, I'm, I'm not... I've never been too interested in endless modes. Um, but dude, calculate it. Interesting little game. So, so then there's different calculators that start with different stuff, right? Uh, and this looks terrifying because you, like, don't have... You don't have numbers, it's just it's just adding to the numbers. Um, and then all of these are... Uh, it, it would get so messy. <laughs> it would get so messy. Um, but I think that it's, it's a fun idea. I think it's a unique little game, man. Uh, it's definitely... It's definitely not for everybody. I'll, I'll be the one to say that. I mean, I, I like number games uh, and, and crunching numbers and, and figuring stuff out. So this this was a lot of fun for me. Um, check it out if this is something that you think you're going to like. Link in the description down below. Calculate it. Fun little game. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good rest of your day. Bye-bye.